All right, he's happy. Unfortunately, kind of like I was mentioning the other day when we came, no dogs. Last time, handful of dogs. And I was lamenting why we hadn't come here in a long time is because they're never dogs. And it's all, you know, visitors to Hollywood wanting to take photos and then, sure enough, that's what it's back to. So today for the vlog, we are going to, after we're done here, head out to Newhall. And I'm gonna go out there and I wanna check out something that I have driven past a handful of times, but I've never checked up on it to see exactly what it is. I just, I see a sign letting us know that it's there and I'm like, you know what, today's the day, let's go check it out. And in a couple of days, we are gonna have a bunch of great vlogs because Amy has trusted me with her birthday. She is letting me take her out for her birthday, so I have a big plan, and it should end up giving us about three or four vlogs together. Keep your eye out for crazy critters over there, Jaw. Yeah, tons of people out here, zero dogs other than Jaw. So if you remember a long time ago when we went to Newhall, one of the main things that's there, one of the main attractions there is uh, that the old cowboy actor, Western star, William S. Hart had his retirement house out there. It was kind of a ranch and now it's open to people to go visit. I have already went through it, vlogged it and everything, but that area in Newhall, they filmed a lot of Westerns back in the day and now they have a Western Walk of Fame. So that's what I thought, you know, let's go check it out. I drive by and see the sign letting me know where it's at, but I'd love to go just check it out because that area used to be the hotbed for filming that stuff and it's not now. So it's kind of one of those things while I'm there, I, I want to kind of think about how much different that would have been back in the day that whole town, how everything has changed, how that used to be, you know, nothing but Westerns being filmed out there and people living in ranch houses and now it's, you know, basically any, any old regular town in Los Angeles, any little suburb of Los Angeles. Hello. All right, we're heading out of here for the day. All right, let's embark on our journey. I'm kind of excited to see this. It doesn't quite feel like Los Angeles once you start getting out here. Well, we have found our way to Newhall. This is not what we were originally looking for, but interesting nonetheless. This gives a little bit of character to the town, doesn't it? Okay, so what we're officially looking for today is called the Western Walk of Stars, and this is something they started in 1981, and every spring they pick one day and they honor Western stars to add to this walk of fame and it's because this area like I said William S. Hart lived out here, John Ford, Gene Autry and so they just wanted to memorialize anyone who was a notable cowboy or western star from 1900 onward. Look at this bear, probably not technically the same type of western star we're going to be seeing honored in this walk of fame but let's be real, bears are definitely a star of the west. This one's pretty cool too. Look at all the artwork on there. History of the town on here. You can see the Canyon Theater Guild, the oil rigs. That's William S. Hart right there, in fact. Gold mining. And this is technically called the Santa Clarita History Bear. I think that's the Oak of the Golden Dream, which we've vlogged before. Saugus Cafe, we've eaten there numerous times. I don't know, I think that's a pretty good rule for life in general. If you see a bear, don't climb on it. This definitely lets us know that we are in the right place. You can see it was started in 1981, my birth year. The Western Walk of Stars. All right. The reason I was so excited to see this is because I had no clue as to how good or how bad these were. You know, sometimes they just put the name and that's it. Sometimes they do a whole portrait. You just never know. So this is Virginia Mayo. These are pretty cool. I like the style, that pink marble and then the saddle. I will show you as many as I can find. 
I think they're all along Main Street. So here we have Monte Montana. And then check this out. If you pay close attention, you'll see there like some red boots going into the side of this building, almost like uh, Wizard of Oz. <laughs> oh, awesome. The ground just turned to like wood. Just a nice touch. Here we have Joel McRae. Looks like every single person gets a saddle. Nothing but a saddle. Robert Conrad. Oh, cool, Steve McQueen. By the way, um, I know we did the vlog about Steve McQueen recently. I forgot to mention in that, there's a really cool song called Steve McQueen that you should check out. Really great song. And not the Sheryl Crow song or not the Prefab Sprout song called Steve McQueen. You want the Steve McQueen song by a band called Lamb Chop. Look up Lamb Chop. Oh, here, I know this name, Claude Akins. Just a little hangout area as you're strolling through town. Oh, sweet. Pat Buttram, Mr. Haney from Green Acres. That'll be four dollars, Mr. Douglas. Gary Cooper. Then the great Lloyd Bridges, father of Jeff and Bo. Now we're getting to a, quite a few of them, it looks like. Tex Williams. Then here we got Hal Needham. And then... Johnny Crawford, that's a good one. Chuck Connors' kid in the great TV show. Andre and Renaud Valuzat, I don't know them. And Bo Hopkins, oh, you can't forget Dale Evans. Dale and Roy, you'd think Roy Rogers would be next, but he's not. Dan White. Then we have James Drury. I don't believe I know him. And then Robert Fuller, not Bobby Fuller. Check out the architecture here. It's kind of that old West Mexican feel to it. Now we've got Roy Rogers. You'd think they would have put him and Dale Evans right beside each other out of respect. Now we have another one coming up here. There's Tex Ritter, great cowboy and father of John Ritter, great singer, Tex Ritter. Let's go check out this mural over here. Now I was about to comment on how impressed I was that none of these were covered up by anything, but I just saw a whole string of them that are, so. Here we have David Carradine. Kung Fu. And here's John Saxon, and we have Jack Lilly. No, it's very long. It's very long. You want to start with that? Hop along, Cassidy. All right. I guess they weren't covered up. They look like they were, but they're not. Good. Bruce Dern, awesome in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood recently. Plays George Spawn. Riders in the Sky. Then we have Rex Allen. Then we have Buck Taylor. Joel Cox. Powers Booth. Powers Booth was in Rapid Fire with Brandon Lee. And, of course, the great William S. Hart, who acted in movies doing pretty insane stunts, even until, I believe he was like 60 or 61, he kept going. And here we have Graham Greene. 
and just a few more on this side. Then we'll go to the other side of the street and see the rest of them. Oh, the Great Tom Mix. Now there's the Canyon Guild Theater we saw painted on the bear in the history of the town. Here we've got Jack Williams. Wow, that's Tom Mix on the side of there. And Gene, the singing cowboy. Now let's cross over and see what's on the other side. You can tie up your horse if you need to. Jack Palance or Jack Palance, however you decide to pronounce it. I think most people in my generation knew him from City Slickers being the old school cowboy named Curly that Billy Crystal learns from. But uh, my friend Shelly Winters did a movie with him and he was a method actor also. And I remember she said he was one of two people that got so lost in his character when they were filming he almost killed her during the scene. No offense, Jack, but that's what she said. Then here's the Guild Theater. Music, dance. And then we have a handful of stars here. First one being Joanne Darcy. So I guess for this batch we'll go backwards because of lighting and the way they're arranged. There's Harry Carey Sr. And Carmen Sorrow. Wait, that's not a saddle. How did you sneak in here? Here we have Rodolfo Acosta. Stuart Hamblin. Very familiar name, Iron Eyes Cody from Ernest, and about a billion other things. The Crying Cowboy, Lee Marvin, the Dirty Dozen. Then check out this mural, how wonderful is this? You got a making a movie, this stagecoach taking the movie into the sky, you've got an old set down here, and then you've got some of the greatest Dale and Roy and Gene and everybody's face up here. It's so cool, William S. Hart right here at the end, kind of faded in. That is great. I think this mural alone was worth a trip out here for me. Now here we have one of those stars kind of covered up. I was mentioning I don't like it when that happens. I just think it's disrespectful. Especially for John Ford. The Rifleman and three sport professional athlete, Chuck Connors. Richard Farnsworth. And here it says that they're showing the Diary of Anne Frank here. Okay, now that's interesting. I totally agree with Melissa Gilbert having one, Little House on the Prairie. I just was wondering if they considered things like that. There's Keith Carradine, Monty Hale. I believe he was in Giant, and then Herb Jeffries. We have a couple more over here underneath this great mural, the Old West. You can see below us we have Don Edwards. And then Linda Gray, you think Linda Gray got it for Dallas? Do you think Dallas counted? And here we have Alex Cord, Peggy Stewart, and then John Schneider from the Dukes of Hazard, one of the good old boys. Okay, this is a name I don't know. Waddy Mitchell? Anybody fill me in with Waddy Mitchell so I don't have to look it up? All right, we got another Farnsworth. This time it's Diamond Farnsworth. And here I just found Clint Walker and an inflatable starfish. And this trash bin's looking for Vasquez rocks. Who can blame him? 
Everything from Blazing Saddles to Star Trek to the Flintstones was filmed out there. And more. There we go, Clayton Moore, the Lone Ranger. And the great Charles Bronson from everything cool, including the original House of Wax with Vincent Price when he was still Charlie Brzezinski. And Peter Brown. We're getting close to the end. What star would be complete without having John Wayne? That's maybe the most essential, probably. And of course, Dennis Weaver. Gunsmoke. Dodge City. Let's pop in this Rocket Fizz. I thought they were all gone. All the ones I used to go to are no longer in their former location, so. I haven't been in one in a while, but I love these places. Check this out, we have an old time candy shop in here. Whoa. How's that taste, partner? Look, they have the rock and roll soda. They do have it, it's just not in the cooler. There's the Roddy Roddy Piper bubblegum soda right next to the Chumley from <laughs> Pawn Star soda. And Mighty Mouse. Oh, awesome, they were just showing me that they now have Rowdy Rowdy Piper bubblegum. I've come to, well, you know the rest. All right, I went ahead and bought a soda and a couple other little things. Well, my friends, we successfully tackled this Western Walk of Stars. We've seen every star they have. Leave a comment below and let me know who you think they're missing out on. I'm thinking Larry Hagman's a big one. And I also saw no Clint Eastwood. I wonder if one of the requirements is that you had to live here in Santa Clarita. All right, let's call it a day here in Santa Clarita and head out of Newhall.